वेलकम टू मिनतीस एजुकेशन फॉर सी एस आया एन टी ए यू जी सी नेट सेट जे आर एफ गेट जाम आई आई टी द प्योर थ्योरी ऑफ लॉ इज क्लोजली रिलेटेड टू हंस कैल्सन अ जूरिस्ट एंड लीगल थियोरिस्ट हु डेवेलप द थ्योरी इन द अर्ली ट्वेंटी एथ सेंचुरी कैल्सन प्योर थ्योरी ऑफ लॉ इज अ लीगल पॉजिटिविस्ट थ्योरी दैट सीक्स टू डिस्क्राइब द लॉ एज इट इज नॉट एज इट शुड बी It is based on the idea that law is a system of norms or rules that are hierarchically arranged and that derive their validity from a higher norm. Kelsen's pure theory of law has been highly influential in legal scholarship and practice and it is still widely taught in law schools around the world. It is particularly influential in civil law countries but it has also been influential in common law countries. Here are some of the key features of Kelsen's pure theory of law. Law is a system of norms. Norms are statements that prescribe how people should behave. Kelsen argued that law is different from other types of norms such as moral norms and social norms in that it is backed by the coercive force of the state. Legal norms are hierarchically arranged. Kelsen argued that legal norms are arranged in a hierarchy with higher norms authorizing lower norms. The highest norm in the hierarchy is a grand norm or basic norm. The grand norm is a hypothetical norm that is not itself authorized by any other norm. Legal norms derive their validity from a higher norm. Kelsen argued that a legal norm is valid only if it is authorized by a higher norm. This means that the validity of a legal norm can be traced back to the grand norm. Kelsen's pure theory of law has been criticized for a number of reasons. Some critics argue that it is too formalistic and that it does not adequately account for the social and political dimensions of law. Others argue that Kelsen's distinction between law and morality is too sharp. Despite these criticisms, Kelsen's pure theory of law remains an important and influential theory of law. It has helped to shape our understanding of the nature of law and its role in society. The growth of law is related to Justice Benjamin N. Cardozo. In his book The Growth of the Law, Cardozo argued that law is not static, but rather a dynamic and ever-evolving system. He identified a number of factors that contribute to the growth of law including social change as society changes the law must adapt to reflect those changes for example the development of new technologies has created new legal challenges and opportunities the need to reconcile conflicting interests in any society there will be competing interests The law must balance these interests in a fair and just manner. The judicial process judges play a key role in the growth of law. When they decide cases, they often have to apply existing law to new and novel situations. In doing so, they may create new legal precedents or refine existing law. Cardozo also emphasized the importance of judicial discretion in the growth of law. He argued that judges must have the flexibility to interpret the law in a way that is consistent with the needs of society and the principles of justice. Thanks for watching. Visit again